Israeli airstrikes continue in Rafah, Gaza's southernmost city, where more than a million Palestinians seek safety, as negotiators aim for a temporary ceasefire ahead of the Muslim holy month of Ramadan. My hope is by next Monday we'll have a ceasefire. A breakthrough is key for President Joe Biden as he faces angry Democrats horrified by the Gaza death toll. He won Tuesday's Democratic primary election in Michigan, home to a large Arab-American constituency, but faced opposition from the Listen to Michigan campaign. It mobilized people to vote uncommitted to pressure Biden to back a permanent ceasefire. One of them is Palestinian-American Adam Abu Salah, who worked on Biden's 2020 campaign. We thought he would be somebody that would lead this country with humanity and compassion, uh, but instead it's been, uh, he's been leading with hypocrisy. Nationally, Arab and Muslim Americans are not a significant voting bloc. But the size of the uncommitted vote in Michigan will signal how strongly Americans reject Biden's Gaza policies as they represent other groups in the president's coalition. Minority voters, young and progressive Democrats, including anti-war Jewish voters. Higher up Democrats assume that Democrats are going to show up to vote and are going to show up to vote for Biden because the option, the other option is so um, horrific and, and, and fear-inducing. But that also frustrates voters because they feel like they've shown up a year after year and that their perspective isn't, isn't being heard. Some American Muslims say even the alternative can't be worse than Biden. Progressive Democrat Samra Lukman is part of the abandoned Biden campaign. To have somebody like me today sit before you and say, I'm willing to accept the Trump presidency on the opposite side of the spectrum in order to oust Biden from office, it's really a testament to how bad this president has failed. Another testament, U.S. Air Force senior airman Aaron Bushnell set himself on fire in front of the Israeli embassy in protest Sunday. The White House called his death a horrible tragedy. Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre said they understand the frustration from supporters of the Palestinian cause. We understand uh, what this means uh, to this community, and the president understands that too. So we care very much about, what, uh, about that and what the community again is going through. But Biden's critics say he's not listening, despite various polls showing that a growing number of Americans support a permanent ceasefire in Gaza. They're listening to donors and they're listening to pressure groups. Um, and, uh, and so where is the power center in the party? It's with the establishment. Where's the majority of the vote in the party? It's with the progressive wing. It's with those who feel that justice and peace are not being well served by the current policy. Without a drastic change in Biden's support for Israel, Zogby said it will be difficult to persuade Arab American voters, a key constituent in Michigan in the November election. It doesn't take too many votes to lose the critical swing state. In 2016, former President Donald Trump won it by less than 11,000 votes. Patsy Widakuswara, Viewing News.